Today, we'll be taking a look at diagnostics on this LG front load washing machine. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. To enter diagnostics on this machine, what you're going to do is press the spin and soil button at the same time with it powered off and then press the power key. It's going to pop up, show you a couple of different things on the display, and eventually it'll lock the door. Now this is just a load test cycle. So during this cycle, we can turn on different loads and you can test them at the component to see if the component's failing or if the control is failing. Now to rapidly advance through this, you'll just want to press the start button. First time we press it, it's just going to show some lines on here. The door should be locked. We should be good to go. Now the next time we press it, it is going to turn the motor clockwise. This is just a tumble. The next time it is going to go into a low speed spin. You'll notice that it turns the opposite direction when it does this. Press it again. We're going to go into a high speed spin. Press it again. It's going to slow down, stop, and then your pre-wash inlet valve is going to turn on. Now if we press it for a fifth time, this is going to turn on the main wash inlet valve, hot water, bleach, and it's going to do another tumble. After it's done with this, press start again. This is going to turn the heater on inside the system. The tenth time, it's going to turn on the drain pump. And then once you press it one more time, it's going to exit diagnostics. Now. As far as error codes are concerned, error codes show up on the screen when the unit has failed. The more common error codes you might find is a UE for an unbalanced error, an OE for a drain error, or you may even find a PE for a pressure error. Now, when the error code is displayed, all you want to do is press start one more time. It will exit the error code and you should be good to go. But depending on the error, whether it's a UE or maybe a product failure, it tends to come back if there is a problem within the product. And this will complete diagnostics. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.